Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. I'm like super hyped because as you can see, I have a background now. I finally took my butt over to Home Depot and I set up like a curtain rod and I got some fabrics and I I sewed it myself. It's terrible, but it's up, so that's great. Um, so if you guys like the background, let me know so I can keep updating my backgrounds. And um, if you guys want me to go back to the old background that I had, then let me know too. I just kind of want to see if, how you guys are liking this. But, um, can we just talk about this look? Mm. So basically what I did is this glittery purple look and I saw it in Daisy Marquez's Snapchat and I was like, Chica, you slay. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have to recreate this because it's amazing. So I'm going through a phase where I really like glitter and really colorful, bold looks. So this is what happened. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, just keep watching. So since I got out of the shower, um, I was just blow drying my hair. And this usually gives it a really voluminous look. So that's the first thing I did. And then... For the parting today, I'm going to go like right halfway and I'm just going to comb all the crazy hairs from blow drying and I'm going to be styling my hair by using the wand and this is going to create some really cool waves when you comb it out. So that's what I did for styling my hair. But it's still frizzy so I'm going to go in with some hair serum and I'm just going to be patting that in my hair making it look all glossy and good. Then I'm going to be putting rose water on my face and my hair. To start off the makeup, I'm going to be priming with the Baby Skin Primer from Maybelline and I'm just going to be putting that all over my face. Then using the Revlon foundation, I'm just going to be dotting that all over my face so it can be easier to apply and blend. And I'm using the Real Techniques sponge. So to conceal and highlight, I'm going to be going under my eyes, on the top of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and on my chin and if you want your contour to pop you can put it under your jawline and then you're just going to blend it in with that same sponge then to contour your face you're going to need a cream contour palette and i'm going to be using this cream concealer from la girl to applicate it and i'm going to be doing the little rainbow shape that you see here then I'm going to structure my uh, jawline and for that I'm just going to be doing that line and then doing those at the top there just to add a little bit more thickness to it. And for contouring my nose I'm going to be going in with the tip first and the bottom also to kind of shorten it since my nose is long. And then if you want to slim it out a little bit more you can um, go down the bridge of your nose even more. Uh, you don't have to do these uh, parts, but if you want to have your face a little more slimmed, you just do that and you blend it in. To blend, I'm using the Real Technique sponge still and make sure you get this really well. You don't want those harsh lines to be showing too much, especially on the nose. Then with some concealer that's a little bit closer to your skin tone, to carve out the contour, which is going to be lining a little bit below the, the cheekbones and just kind of like cutting it like making it like really edgy and this is going to help your contour pop out a little bit better then i'm going to be going in with some translucent powder from kat von d and i'm just going to dip it with my sponge and then i'm going to be going with that under my eyes and this is going to help the concealer from creasing make sure you do this like really fast after your concealer because you really do not want it to crease and if you get oily on your forehead you can also put it on your forehead and this is going to help with like cutting and making that um, contour pop when you put it under your contour line so then i just grabbed a big buffing brush and i'm just blending it all and getting rid of all the excess powders then using this BH Cosmetics uh, palette, I'm going to be going in with those two lighter shades to help the highlights pop a little bit more. And I'm going to be putting that primarily uh, under my eyes and I'm just going to be brushing that off a little bit on my forehead just to avoid any oiliness. Then going in with that contour shade from the same palette and a contour brush, I'm just going to be shaping and carving out my jawline. And you just really want to work this part in. You want to make sure it's nice and blended. 
then you also want to go in with some of that color and put it on your forehead just to have it all tie in together. Then you're also going to get a smaller brush to contour your nose with that same shade. And you just do the other side on the bridge of your nose. To highlight, I'm going to be using rose water and dipping it in my brush and then putting some highlighter and this is going to really make the highlight pop. So I'm just putting it at the top of my cheekbones and just having it really glisten there. Now my favorite part, we're moving on to the eyes and for the transition color on my crease, I'm going to be using that soft lavender color you see on the palette. That one right there that I'm dipping my brush into. And I'm going to be working that on my crease progressively, just really trying to blend it and work it in. Uh, you want to start with um, a light transition and then if you want to build it up, you can harshen it and add a little bit more color. Then going back with a brighter purple from that same palette, I'm going to be deepening the, the crease and you're just going to be blending it until you feel like the two colors you have there are pretty well put together. Then you're going to deepen the crease even more using that dark purple shade and you're going at the very end of your crease and you're going to deepen it as much as you can but keeping the color right there so it doesn't disturb the other colors that you were transitioning into and you just keep that at the top lid of your crease and you just really try to work it in and make it look like really defined going in with a flat shader brush I'm going to be going in with one of the purple colors that I used that one right there the darkest one and I'm going to be putting that at the bottom lash line just to add a little bit more of a darker tone to the bottom lashes to make my bottom lashes look thicker now we're going to be adding the glitter, so for this look you want to add some concealer. This is some purple concealer and you're just going to be patting that in your eyes. Make sure it's really set and then you're going to pat some glitter on there. And to deepen the crease even more and blend in the glitter with your regular eyeshadow, we're going to be going back with that dark shade and just deepen the crease even more just to tie it together. Moving on to the eyeliner, we're going to create that wing first. And we're just going to really sharpen it up and get the shape from the outside to the inside. And you're just going to be putting it all together until you see that you get the shape that you want. Then for the lips, I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics palette and going in with that dark purple but kind of red color. It's like a very wine Transylvania type of color and I love it. Then for brows, I kind of have an update for you guys. Soap brows, it's apparently really in. So I soaked my brush in um, some water or rose water, whatever. And um, I dipped it in some soap. And then I started to comb my eyebrows through. And this tames your brows really well. You don't need to buy gel for your eyebrows ever again because this is a cheaper alternative. And it gets the job done so well. Like... I can't emphasize how much this has changed my life. But anyways, I really recommend you guys doing this. And when they dry, you're just going to go in like normal and grab some pomade. Line the bottom first to get the shape in. And, you know, just fill them in like usual. Now they're tamed. And I went for like a bushy effect. So I created like um, feathery strokes as hair. And I really ended up liking how it went. Then I'm going to just be applying some lashes, nothing really that exceptionally life changing but you know I'm just applying them like usual. When the lashes are properly set I like to go in with some mascara to blend in my fake and real lashes and also go in with a little bit on my bottom lash line. So that concludes this video for so today. So this concludes my presentation. So this concludes my presentation. <laughs> um, so this concludes the video. Uh, if you guys want to keep up with my videos still, you guys can subscribe and you guys will be notified when I post. And if you guys are digging this background, I don't know, I thought it looked kind of chunky, but I was like, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to try it out. So if you guys dig the background, then let me know. And if you guys want me to go back to my regular room and be even more chunky, like, just let me know how you guys like it. All right. Um, I'm gonna stop. Bye guys.